Hey guys, so I wanted to do some more fun fancy stuff. So we already did the truffle butter in our last, actually truffle honey in our last video. Or before this one, I don't know which one I'm going to be putting up uh, first. I'm still tired. It's so still early. But today we're going to be doing Romanoff caviar. And I am so excited about this. It's black lump fish. I'm not going to lie. We had a little bit. Like, I wanted to still do a video, but we were so curious because um, we wanted to try it. And we did open it up. As you can see, a little flab. I always like to be really honest with y'all guys that I try it. I did try a little bit. I tried a bit. But I want to try it with y'all now. And what makes this kind of cool is that it's not super um, expensive. Like, you know, caviar can range from, like, it can be hundreds of dollars. It's, it's going to be really expensive. As a kid, I ate really, really expensive caviar when I was a little, little kid. I never forgot it. I absolutely loved it. And because my parents spoiled me, they let they literally just gave me like the, the whole little thing. They they didn't really care for it. It cost, oh my gosh, I don't know how much it cost it. Probably like 500 or so. It was, it was really expensive. And they just, they had a little bit of it. And they didn't like it. And I loved it as a kid. And I had to be like on like five or four. And they literally gave me the whole thing of caviar for myself. Like, oh, you can have it. And I never forgot it. And so I've been kind of looking for that taste. Now, here's the thing. You're only going to get that taste if you're spending up that money. So I look for it in cheaper versions. And this one is a type of lump fish. And so this one only cost me 14 bucks. Not bad. Now, we're going to see if it compares to my childhood memory. I doubt it. Now, of course, I already tried a little bit of it, but I got my paraphernalia with me right now. I have a little cracker and a little lump of cheese. And so, and also, when it comes to caviar, you can't eat it with silver. They just, I don't know why. I said you can eat it with stone or plastic, but you can't eat it with silver. So I got my little plastic. This is plastic, not, not silver. And we're going to try and see if I like it. So let's check it out. Here's the thing. I love the fact that it was so cheap. Love it. I love that it was so cheap. You can take a look at it. My dad likes this one. He likes this one better than he liked the one when I was a little kid. For me, I like the expensive one, but I'm going to try it again and give it another go. So let's try it by itself first. First, I'm going to, you know what? Let me move my camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got my little hunk of Gouda. Now, Gouda doesn't usually go with stuff like this, I think. I got my little cam, my little um, cracker. So let's add a couple of them. Once I use this to eat with, I can't like keep using it. So let's put a little bit on. Yes, I'm doing it one-handed. Look, I just spilled my caviar. Okay, we got that one. And then we're going to do this one with a little hunk of Gouda cheese. That one's pretty. I see this one. That one's really pretty. Let's add a little bit more. Okay, those are pretty. So we're going to try one while I get this, which is a cracker. One with a little bit of Gouda. And then we're going to try it. But the first thing we're going to do is try it by itself. Okay, so let's try the caviar by itself first. What I do remember from my childhood memory of having really expensive caviar is that it was more creamier. This one's a little more individual, like little ballies. For some reason, my mouth is watering. I must, I must like caviar. I'm like, okay, like calm down, Tam. What's wrong with you? <laughs> so I can see it. I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure my camera's gonna be able to pick this up. It's too small. Oh, there it is. Yay! It looked really good. For any caviar connoisseurs, let me know in the comments. Um, is, does it look similar to any expensive ones to you? Or does it look like it's cheap? But uh, let's give it a go. Mm. It's good. It's salty, like super salty, of course. Almost like, I'm going to just close it up. I want to keep it open like that. It's kind of salty, but um, 
I'd say for a cheaper carry-on, like, it looks good. Like, don't you want... The main thing we get carry-on for is this look. It adds a little bit of salt. That's quite tasty. I like it. And it keeps your pockets full. This is the one with the cracker. Let's try it with a cracker. Mmm. With a nice rich cracker, that's good. You got a nice little rich cracker. It's salty, but it's it's not bad. That tastes good. Now let's try with the creamy cheese. This was one I'm really excited about. I just want so cute, like an actual little hors d'oeuvre made myself for breakfast. That's so cute. This I'm looking forward to with the gouda and the caviar. I cannot wait. So that's basically it guys. That is some good caviar. I believe it's from Russia because it has uh, Romanoff on it. And that's, that makes me particularly fond of it because as y'all know, I'm still uh, learning the Russian language. So it makes me kind of like, ooh, yay, some the Russian. And um, yeah, the, it tastes really good. That's, um, that's a good caviar. And for the price, it's so reasonable. I feel like that's a great like deal. Like only $14 for caviar. It's like, it looks, it's black, shiny, it looks like expensive caviar, and I feel like if you put this on your guest's food, it could, like, trick anybody. Like, you're like, like, like ooh, let me eat it. Like, oh, it's like caviar, how fancy. So, I would highly recommend it. Highly. And I think I could find the link for it online. I found mine's in Acme. Acme had it. I think it had a couple of other things going on there too. But I could find you a link online where you can pick it up. And it's still good price. Like sometimes it ranges from $10 to $28. There's by the way no spots. Just me going to the store and finding the cool things. I love it. And it's going to be perfect for around Christmas. So that's basically it guys. Tell me in the comments what y'all think about my caviar. And would you try some Romanoff caviar. And what is your favorite? Do you like red caviar? Do you like uh, beluga? Do you like any type of other things? I think this one is... What fish is this? Oh yeah, I said before. Black lump fish. So I got multiple types. And I'll leave the link in the description box if I find it. I should be able to find it. But yes, yeah, basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I might eat some more on some more little hors d'oeuvres. And I'll talk to y'all guys later. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>